everyone. Welcome back to our Sewing for Baby video series. I am so excited. Today I have a smocking tutorial for you and a free ducky smocking plate. So um, welcome to my sewing studio. I'm Lisa from Pink Holly Bush Designs where we talk everything sewing and smocking. And today we are talking about smocking which um, I'm excited to do. I haven't done a video on smocking in a while, so it'll be fun to do this again. Um, in particular, we are going, I'm going to have a quick tutorial for you on curved smocking. Now, um, curved smocking is something you might not have heard much about. Um, if you are familiar with smocking, then you know that smocking is pretty angular. Just the nature of the stitches, we get a lot of those V shapes as we're smocking. But um, curved smocking is a way to give just more of a curved shape with your smocking stitches. So to give you a little background, um, curved smocking was developed by Evelyn Phillip. And um, back in the 19, late 1970s, when the Smocking Arts Guild of America was formed, um, they named at that point um, four women as master craftsmen. And Evelyn Phillip was one of them because of her contributions to the art of smocking up to that point. And she developed a number of curved, what she called curved smocking um, plates and designs. And she taught a correspondence course for years for um, the Smocking Arts Guild um, on curved smocking. So what is curved smocking? <laughs> well, um, it's not really anything different. It's just a way of combining the regular smocking stitches to give you more of a gentle curve rather than more of those angles. And so um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we dive in, you will find in the links below um, a link to the free pattern. Grab that before you watch the rest of this video. Hit pause and go get it um, because it will make more sense if you can look at the graph as I'm walking you through it. Um, if you are unfamiliar with um, or don't know how to read a smocking graph, I have another video and um, I'll put a link to that as well that shows you how to read a smocking graph. And um, finally, if you need um, a reference that um, shows you how to do the basic smock, smocking stitches, I will put a link to that to my website that shows you step-by-step um, -step how to do each of the basic stitches. I also recommend um, the A to Z of smocking and I'll have a link below to that as well. Okay, let's dive in and see how to do curved smocking. So for this tutorial, I'm showing you how to stitch the water, which is the curved smocking. So I've already done one here on um, my um, little doodle cloth. So let me show you how um, we're going to do this. So I'm going to start by doing a cable stitch. And that's the first stitch. And then I'm going to do trellis. And I'm stepping over and down a quarter of um, a space down to the next row. So that was um, one quarter down. This is one half. Three quarters. Didn't split. Don't want to separate my floss. <laughs> There's three quarters. And now down to the next row. So, so far everything is just normal. And here's where the change comes. So normally at this point you do um, a cable stitch and switch direction, but instead we're going to do an outline stitch. And on the graph here are the two outline stitches and it's also in the written instructions. So you're going to keep that um, thread above the needle. The next stitch is going to go over at the same level. So that's my first outline stitch. 
thread above the needle again, I'm going to go over and do a second outline stitch. Now I'm going to switch direction and do a cable stitch. So now my thread is below the needle. Okay, now again, we're, here's our change. We're now going to do a stem stitch. So I'm going to keep the thread below the needle, go over on the same level, do a stem stitch. Keep the thread below the needle, go over, same level, do another stem stitch. Now we're going to start traveling up, doing our trellis again. So quarter of this way up, halfway up, three quarters of the way up, and there I'm back up to the next row. And I'm going to do a cable to close it. And that's all there is to it. But I hope you can see you get this nice curve effect. I hope you will give the um, Hello Ducky Smocking Plate and Curve Smocking a try. If you are interested in more um, curve smocking, the um, Various smocking plates developed by Ella Villa and Philip are still available for sale. I will put a link to the website down below. If you're interested in smocking and you just don't know where to get started, we have a ton of resources on our website, including a free Get Started Smocking email series, and I will put a link um, to that below. I will be back next Friday with another sewing for baby um, tutorial and uh, this time we're going to be adding a drawstring to the bottom of a um, cute uh, day gown. So I hope to see you here and in the meantime, happy sewing!